<laughs> Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I want to ask the question, whose child is that? I don't know who that child is. I think you all seen the movie Problem Child. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. My friend over here, it's good to see you. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the city of peace. Amen. Amen. My friends over here, it's so good to have you. God bless you. Amen. And let me just tell you, you won't leave here like you came. In Jesus' great big name. Jesus got a big name. Amen. It is the sweetest name I know. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I don't like the people to the right over here. <laughs> Amen. I'm starting not to like the people on this side. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But we're excited about what God is getting ready to do. Amen. Amen. If you will put up, amen. We're getting ready to celebrate Father's Day. And last month, we celebrated the women of the Bible. Amen. The hidden figures. Amen. Praise God. Amen. This month, we're going to celebrate the men of the Bible. Amen. We're going to talk about the hidden judges. Amen. We want to celebrate men. Amen. Praise God. How many of you know that there are some good fathers out there? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. There are some good fathers out there. Amen. Praise God. We want to talk about hidden judges. Amen. There were judges of Israel. Amen. Israel. Amen. Amen. That we don't talk about that you may not know about. Amen. But we want to enlighten you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We're excited about what God is getting ready to do. Amen. And we will Amen. Be using our ministers. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, smile. Okay, come on. You got me. All right, good. Amen. I get so many instructions. Amen. I don't know if I'm the parent or the child. Amen. Praise God. I get so many instructions. Amen. Hallelujah. But I greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, my friend, Amen. Uh, Dr. Frank Ray would say, it's good to be here. <laughs> Amen. Every time he opened up, he said, it's good to be here. Amen. Amen. On this side. Amen. Amen. I realize, amen, that it could have been me on the other side. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We're, we're going to, there's a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you'll strike me up and maybe the key of C, let's see what happens. Amen. I'm going to sing because they. Amen. Do it again. If the world from you withhold. All of its silver and its gold. Oh, yeah, this fits the sermon. And you have to try and make it with me go Oh, my Lord, just remember. In God's word, how he feeds the little bird. Take your birds to the Lord and leave them there. I got one more thing for you. If your body so was pain and your help you can regain and your soul is almost sinking beyond despair we got a God in heaven amen Jesus knows the pain you feel oh he can save it he's still 
can hear Take your burden Walk to the Lord Why don't you just leave them there Listen here Leave them there Leave them there Leave them there Leave them there Listen, I got a promise for you If you trust And never doubt God will surely He will surely Surely Bring you out Take your burden When all else fails To the Lord Try Jesus and leave them there, leave them there, oh, leave them there, leave them there, leave them there. If you trust and never doubt, God is going to always bring you out. Take your burdens to the Lord. Try Jesus and leave him there. Is there a witness in the house today? Amen. Hallelujah. When all else fails, here comes Jesus. Amen. 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 He said, if you have faith, amen, as the grain of a mustard seed, amen, you can say to yonder's mountain, be thou removed, and it will be cast into the sea. Somebody say, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just want to know, have anybody tried him? Amen. Amen. Have anybody tried Jesus? Amen. Won't he do it? Amen. Amen. Jesus will come through for you. You just got to have the faith. Amen. Amen. With the Christian, no, it's not an option. Somebody say amen. God said it, and that sells it. Amen. It's good if you believe it, but if God said it, that sells it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me calm down. Amen. I praise God. Amen. 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 The world will withhold from you. Amen. Hallelujah. The world will withhold from you. They will withhold the silver and they will withhold the gold. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to Judges. Amen. Chapter 11. Amen. Amen. Judges chapter 11. I might read verses 1 through 10. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Judges. King James Version. Amen. And if you are able, would you please stand? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Are you there? Amen. If you're not, look at the screen. Amen. Amen. Now, Jephthah, the Gileadite, was a mighty man of valor, and he was the son of an harlot. And Gilead begat Jephthah. And Gilead's wife bare him sons, and his wife's sons grew up. And they thrust out Jephthah and said unto him, Thou shalt not inherit any of our father's house, for thou art the son of a strange woman. Amen. You won't your family do you like that? Amen. Praise the Lord. Then Jephthah fled from his brethren and dwelt in the land of Tob. I thought that was funny. And there were gathered vain men of Jephthah. Amen. And went out with him. And it came to pass in the process of time that the children of Ammon made war against Israel. And it was so. And when the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of Gilead 
went to fetch Jephthah out of the land of Tob. And they said unto Jephthah, come and be our captain, that we might fight with the children of Ammon. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, did not ye hate me and expel me out of a man my father's house? And why are you come unto me now when you are in distress? Amen. Amen. People will kick you out, but when they get in trouble, they're going to come find you. Amen. Somebody say amen. And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, Therefore we turn again to thee now. Listen to this. We turn again to thee now. Amen. That thou mayest go with us and fight against the children of Ammon. Amen. And be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, If ye bring me home again to fight against the children of Ammon, and the Lord deliver them before me, shall I be your head? Amen. And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, The Lord be witness between us, if we do not so according to thy words. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What other verse did I have on that? Amen. The 29 through 32. I got to make it plain. Watch this. Then the spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah, and he passed over Gilead and Manasseh and passed over Mitzpah. And Gilead and Mitzpah of Gilead, he passed over unto the children of Ammon. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And Jephthah vowed a vow unto the Lord and said, If thou wilt, if thou shalt without fail deliver the children of Ammon into my hands, then it shall be that whatsoever, somebody say whatsoever, whatsoever. cometh forth of the doors of my house and meet me when I return in peace from the children of Ammon. Amen shall surely be the Lord's, and I will offer it up for a sacrifice. For I will offer it up for a burnt offering, offering, offering. So Jethro passed over unto the children of Ammon to fight against them, and the Lord delivered them into his hands. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is one of the hidden judges. Amen. Maybe perhaps you've never heard about. Amen. Well, you're going to hear, hear about him today. His name is Jephthah. Jephthah. Amen. 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 If we were to do a backdrop on this lesson, amen, God's reasoning for the judges. Amen. It was an ongoing cycle with Israel. Amen. And like it is with the modern day Israelites, that's us today. Amen. Amen. Today we're with God. Tomorrow we turn away from God to worship other gods. Amen. We repent. Amen. Then today we with God again. Amen. And then we worship other gods. Amen. And then we repent. It's an ongoing cycle even in the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. We don't run to God. We run away from God. Somebody say amen. One thing I learned about the pandemic, the COVID-19, they say you're just fine until you get on the ventilator. That's what I hear tell. Amen. They say you better stay active. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're fine until you get on the ventilator. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The modern day is right. In Judges 2 and 11, and the children of Israel dead evil in the sight of the Lord and served all of the other God. I believe the scripture says Balaam. Amen. Judges 2 and 16. Nevertheless, amen, the Lord raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I love God because God is a forgiving God. If God is a forgiving God, what's wrong with you? Amen. Where is the God in you? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, I told you, I don't believe in all that mess. You forgive them, but you treat them with a long handle spoon, honey. What you going to do when God treats you with a long handle spoon? What are you going to do? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't want God to be way over there. I want him to be right here beside me, in me, all over me. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We got to lose some of that stuff we learn in the world. When God forgives you, 
cast it in the sea of forgetfulness, never to rise in this life and that which is to come. Amen. He casts me and he throws it away. Amen. What can you find in a sea? Amen. Amen. What can you find in a sea? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, amen, God kept on, amen, letting them come back in to the beloved. Amen. This is the kind of God that we serve. Amen. God let us in, but we won't let others back in. Somebody say amen. 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 But we won't let others back in. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why the churches have become a bunch of cliques. Somebody say amen. If I want to be in a clique, I can go to the world. Somebody say amen. It's time for us to forgive for real. Amen. When I forgive you, amen, I don't hold it against you any longer. Amen. The slate is wiped clean. How many times have God forgiven you and the slate was wiped clean? Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And this is where we are in the lesson today. They did evil. In Judges 10 and 6, the children, amen, of Israel did evil in the sight of God. They served Balaam and other gods. Amen. In verse 7, in the end of the law, amen, 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 amen. He was, and, and the Lord was hot against Israel. So he sold them into the hands of the Philistines, into the hands of the children of Ammon. Amen. In verse 15 and 16, the children of Israel said to the Lord, We have sinned. Do thou unto us whatever seemeth good unto thee. Deliver us only, we pray, be this day. And they put away their strange gods from among them to serve the Lord. And his soul was grieved for misery of Israel. That means he had compassion on them. He saw the situation they were in. He sold them into the hands, amen, of the Amorites, Ammonites, amen. Praise, praise God. But we get into the focal passage. Ask yourself, when you think about this, are you committed to God or he is, a, is he a convenience to you? Are you really committed to God or is he a convenience to you? Amen. 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 Only when you need him. Careful how you answer that because a commitment is a vow. What did I just say? Oh, ain't nobody saying nothing. What did I just say? A commitment is a vow. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Commitment is a vow. Amen. We want to, amen, talk about today the ninth judge of Israel as we deal with the hidden judges in the Bible. Jephthah. His name in the Hebrew means God opens. Amen. God opens. And it just reminds me when God opens a door, no man will be able to close. Amen. When God does it, amen. God is going to open some things for somebody in this room. God is getting ready to open some things for you. Amen. He is the son of Gilead, and his mother was a harlot. Amen. I said his mother was a harlot. Amen. 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 So, therefore, Jephthah understood rejection. Being illegitimate in Israel, and this is what the elders would do. They would ban you from the congregation, and you could not hold public office. Illegitimate. Girls, just think how some of us would feel. Amen. I'm illegitimate. Amen. She's illegitimate. Amen. Praise God. How would you feel if you can't come to church? Amen. Thank God for the New Testament. Thank God for the New Testament. Somebody said, thank God for the New Testament. Yeah. 
Amen. That's the Old Testament law. Amen. But thank God for the New Testament. A better promise. Amen. A better promise. A better covenant. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when his father died, the elders and his brother and their mother prevented him from sharing in the family's inheritance. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody know anything about that? Amen. Amen. Praise God. You thought you were a part of the family till somebody died. Somebody say amen. Somebody died and you found out you didn't matter at all. Amen. Amen. All of a sudden, the inheritance belonged to one or two people. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, amen. He fled into the land of Tob, where he gathered together with vain. And the scripture declares that these are worthless men. Men that were rejects. Amen. Friends are friends because they have something in common. Amen. Amen. So he ran to another bunch of rejects. Amen. I, I thought that was kind of funny. This thing was cracking me up part of it. They ran to some more. He ran into some more rejects. And let me tell you something. I don't want you to do that. Amen. 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 You don't have to. Amen. Let me tell you what. The Bible said a friend must first show themselves friendly. You don't have to have but one thing in common with a friend. What is that? Jesus. That's what you need to have in common with your friend. Amen. You need to have Jesus in common with your friend. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and one thing I noticed, amen, even though he ran, he fled to Tob, Israel, Israel was still a part of his heart. Amen. Because they said, amen, in the scriptures, amen, that, that, that he started robbing the enemies of the Israelites. And this is how he got his fame and his fortune. And everybody knew who he was. He was a mighty man of valor. When he go in and get, him and his boys went in, they clean house. Amen. This is how he got his fame. Amen. How many of you know sometimes your reputation will precede you? I, I don't know. Maybe some of you all are like me. I never thought I had anything that anybody wanted. Amen. Okay. And then one day I got married. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then one day I bought a house. Amen. Then one day I bought a car. Then one day I got the right job. I never thought I had anything anybody wanted. Amen. Amen. And then one day I discovered who Jesus was. As, amen. That's what they ought to want. No, they don't want that. They want what belongs to somebody else. Somebody say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. What did Jackie Mom Mabley say? Anybody, how, how many of you old enough to remember Jackie Mom Mabley? Hold your hand up. I want to see the old ones in here. All right. Amen. Here she goes. And she do a mouth like that. I don't want a house or shuttle by the sea. Just give me what belongs to me. That was her theory. Amen. Right there. Amen. What God has for me, it's for me. And what God has for you, it's for you. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to walk in the now. Amen. 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 The very first verse, amen, that opens up a chapter, opens up. Chapter 11 declares that he is a mighty man of valor. Amen. Which means he could fight. He was a warrior. Amen. Praise God. He wasn't doing anything to harm Israel. Amen. But he was fighting their enemies off. Because guess what? They had what belonged to him anyway. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And this is where God is. Everything that the devil stole from us... How many of you know 
Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God is going to give it unto you. Amen. He's going to give it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jephthah and these men. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The rejects, I call them. Amen. Amen. Tob to me was a place of exile. Amen. Amen. It was an exile experience. Getting you ready for greater. I want to tell you sometime you got to run to the land of Tob. Amen. Because guess what? It's going to get you ready for greater. Amen. Amen. You've been rejected. Amen. You've been ostracized. Amen. Praise God. But God is getting you ready for greater. Somebody say amen. God is getting ready to open some things for you. Amen. Anybody want God to open some things for you? Amen. God has some hidden treasure. Amen. That he haven't given you yet. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, you're receiving over here. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 She says she's ready for a greater. If you're ready for your greater, then you've been in the land of Tob. How many of you right now are in the land of Tob? You're in the land of Tob. You're waiting on your greater. Let me tell you something, honey. I have not seen, ear have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God have in store for you. Because you're in the land of Tob. That's all it is. Amen. You're in exile. But when you come out, honey, you're going to be like pure gold. You're going to shine. You're going to magnify Amen. And somebody is going to want that Jesus that you got. Amen. 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 I'm going to do like the big deal. Y'all can sit down. No, I'm just... <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. But let me just tell you this. I remember I was working at the store. I went to college with this young girl. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I went to uh, college with this young girl, and she ended up working at the store where I was working. And uh, she said, you know what, when I, I was in college, we was in college together, and I would just tell the professors exactly what I thought in respect, amen. I said, I believe, amen, if you are a straight A student, you shouldn't have to take the final exam. And guess what they did? They listened to me. <laughs> I said, all right, yeah, amen. If you're making straight A's, you should not have to take the final exam. Amen. And they listened to me. So, so check this out. Uh, she said, when I first met you, I thought you was crazy. And she said, when everybody would come in the room, you start talking to them. And at first, I thought you was the biggest flirt I'd ever seen. And she said, then I realized you talk to the women as much as you do to men. And she said, I just couldn't figure you out. And she said, then all of a sudden, one day, I wanted to be like you. Amen. I said, huh? I said, you did? Amen. Because I'm pretty wild. Amen. I'm, I'm funny, really. Amen. And she said, she said, Kathy, anybody would have to be stupid not to see the God in you. She said, they would have to be crazy. She said, all of a sudden, I wanted to be like you. I said, well, praise God. I said, it ain't me. I said, it's the God in me. Amen. I said, God had put a place. I said, number one, God showed me, amen, a friend must first show himself to be friendly. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. When I lived in Indianapolis, Indiana for a brief while, I would walk into places and speak to people. They said, you're not from here, are you? <laughs> I said, why are you saying? Because people here really don't speak if they don't know you. I said, what do I need to know about you to speak to you? I don't need to know anything. You are, you are God's creation. Amen. And I, I, I need to show myself friendly. Amen. Because I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the most high God. Amen. Amen. And, and, and I want us to understand that people need to see the God in us. Amen. I want to get to the good part. Amen. Y'all remember that song, when we're going to get to the good part? I'm getting ready to get to the good part. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 4 of chapter 11 in Judges says, 
in the process of time. Yeah. Only thing you got to do is give it some time. You're in the land of Tob right now, just give it some time. <laughs> just give it some time. <laughs> he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. You know what it is. What is it? Yes, he is. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the process of time, I love that verse. Amen. I got so tickled when I read it. Amen. The children of Ammon made war against Israel. Amen. In verse 5, who did the elders go and pitch? Let me think about this. Jephthah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Jephthah out of the land of Tob. Amen. This message is for you. I'm talking to all of you out there. Amen. This message is for you. The rejected has become the elected. Y'all are shout on <laughs> You ever been rejected on a job and you're the only one got the answer and they got to come to you? Much as they hate it, they got to come straight to you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They got to come straight to you. Amen. Verse 6. Then said, amen, amen. They said to Jeph Jephthah, amen, come and, 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 and be our captain. Verse 7, here's his response. Amen. I, I heard him say, like, you talking to me? <laughs> the zero. Now, all of a sudden, you want to make me a hero? You talking to me? You have to look at people like a... You... Amen. Who, me? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. You were one of the ones that expelled me. Now you want to excel me? Amen. I thought this day was hilarious. Amen. I was inferior, and now I'm superior? You talking to me? Amen. Who, me? I'm, I, I, I'm like, Mr. Ray, who, me? Look. Amen. Praise God. You ever feel like that sometimes? You talking to me? You, ooh, you want me to answer something? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Verse 9. If I do all of this, amen. 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 Let me tell you the elders' response. We're turning to you again and not away from you is what they were saying. We're turning to you now. No longer away from you. Look at God. He'll make your enemies. Amen. Amen. Can you find that verse, K KJV? Your enemies, your footstool. I want to say as your footstool. I want to make sure I'm correct. Amen. He'll make your enemies as your footstool. You know what that means? Yeah. Amen. Praise God. He'll make your enemies as your footstool. I love God. God is awesome. Amen. And can you see God just, God begin to open. Oh, yeah. Amen. You're coming out oh, yeah. of the land of Tob. <laughs> hey, amen. 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 Who was that girl? Was it Diana? I feel like Diana Ross right now. I'm coming out. Yeah. I know that's how he felt. I'm coming out. Amen. 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 I want Israel to know I'm coming out. Amen. I'm no longer in exile. Amen. Are you on your way out? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is opening. Amen. 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 Did you find it, Michael? Can you read it to me? Psalms. 110 verse 1. A psalm of David, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand 
until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Somebody say amen. He will make your enemies what? Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And if I do all of this, in verse 9 he says, shall I be your head? Amen. How many of you know when you come out of the land of Tob, you make the suggestions? You make the proposition. Amen. Amen. Jephthah put a proposition on the floor. Shall I then be your head? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 10. And the elders agreed. And it was witnessed between the Lord and us. We will do according to your words. And you, I, I, you know, after doing some study on this, they walked all the way from Tob to Gilead. And they met in Metzpah for the big meeting. And Jephthah became the chief governor of all the tribes of Israel east of the Jordan. They walked. This is how serious they was. Amen. How many of you know when you're a soldier, you got to walk? I used to wonder why my mother walked so much. Amen. Amen. As you begin to walk, God began to speak to you. Somebody, amen. Say amen. 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 When you, when you got things on your mind, you just can't sit still. You just can't just sit still. Amen. Sometimes you got to walk. You got to walk your way. Amen. What did y'all little young children, you said, let me see you walk it out. Amen. God said, let me see you walk it out. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes you got to walk. Amen. You got to walk out of tone. You got to walk into your, amen, blessing. You got to walk into your promotion. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. They don't always know what's good. Sometimes you got to tell them what's good for you. Somebody on the job, you need to make the proposition. You need to write the contract. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You need to make the proposition. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you about that proposition. Be of good cheer. Amen. He may not come when you want him, but what? Amen. Uh, somebody said it another. You can't hurry God. You just got to wait. And while are you waiting? What you going to be doing? Serving. While you're waiting, you got to serve. You got to be like the waiter or the waitress. While you're waiting, you still got to serve. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't stop working. Don't run away from God. Run to God. Amen. In the time of trouble, he's going to do the hiding. You just do the working and you do the serving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I, I love this. Amen. Amen. I, when I tell you, Jesus may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Amen. Hallelujah. You remember this. You remember this. I remember one time I created the greatest job for the Clarksville CMCSS. Let me say it like that. And I sent the letter, amen, to the director of schools. Amen. And proposing the idea of a permanent substitute in the classroom that CMCSS would pay them. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And God let that director out of there. The new director came in and saw my letter. That's how the job of permanent substitute got created for CMCSS. Amen. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Amen. Sometimes you have to make the proposal. Amen. Because guess what? God knows what's best for me. Amen. He knows what's best for you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. What's the dumbest question? What is it? The ones you don't ask. Amen. One thing about me, I'm not afraid to ask. When I tell you God didn't give me the spirit of fear, I'm telling you. But of love, power, and of a sound mind. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I praise God. Amen. 
Can't you see Jeff's uh, foreshadowing Jesus here? Despised and rejected. But still he had a heart of forgiveness. He could have said, you rejected me, now I'm going to reject you. Amen. But he didn't do that. He didn't say that. Amen. Praise God. Watch what happens here. Amen. Amen. He was rejected, but still had a heart of forgiveness. Just a track. Amen. Amen. I, I love him. Amen. Because he's on track. Amen. He tried the diplomatic approach. Amen. Amen. He, amen. He sent a message to the king and told him the history of the land and, and the God that they served. And the king did not heed the warning. In verses 29 through 31, the spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah. Amen. He made a vow unto the Lord. If you deliver the Ammonites into mine hands, whatsoever come forth out of the door of my house and meet me when I return in peace from the children of Ammon shall surely be the Lord's. And I will offer it up for a burnt offering. Amen. You got to be careful what you vow. Amen. Amen. You got to be careful what you vow unto the Lord. Because usually, you know, when you go home, if you got pets, that's going to be the first somebody to run out of the house to meet you. They're going to run in the yard. They may come right up to you. Amen. The pets are going to come. Amen. The animals are going to come. You just keep that in the back of your memory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Verse 32, 30, 32. I can get this. Not 32. Amen. 32. <laughs> that was a dear moment. Sorry. Verse 32. And the Lord delivered them into his hands. Amen. And then verse 34. When he returned to his house, his daughter came out to meet him. Be careful what you vow. It was his only daughter. Amen. He had not a son nor another daughter. It was his only daughter that came out to meet him. Amen. Hallelujah. His only child. Amen. You know what I, I thought about this? We're talking about the hidden judges. And last month we talked about the hidden figures. This daughter is a hidden figure in the Bible. Her faith was insurmountable. She said, my father, if you open your mouth unto the Lord, amen, 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 do to me what you said that proceeded out of your mouth. Let this thing be done for me, but give me two months to bewail my virginity. And she went for two months and bewailed her virginity up on the mountains. At the end of two months, she returned to her father who did with her according to his vow, which he had vowed unto the Lord. And she knew no man. Be careful what you vow. Amen. 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 I mean, amen. This is his only child. Amen. Even to this day, the young daughters of Israel go four times a year and commemorate, amen, Jephthah's daughter, amen, amen. Jephthah was a man of integrity, amen. His word was his bond. I said he was a man of integrity. His word was his bond. Be careful what you vow and you don't do it because you're lessening each time your integrity, amen. The first thing some guys say, you can't believe nothing they tell you. Amen. Amen. How many of us start stuff and we never finish it? Amen. We never finish it. Only reason we finish a lot of things is because it benefit us. How, I, amen. What's beneficial for the kingdom of God? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, amen. Numbers 30 and 2. If a man vow, vow unto the Lord. Or swear an oath, amen, to bind, amen, his soul with a bond. He shall not break his word, 
he should do according to all that proceedeth out of his mouth. People are paying attention when you're making vows, when you're promising to do this. That's what we tell them, amen, in marriage counseling. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You, this is a vow that you must keep. Amen. It ain't just like an old shoe when it get a hole in it. You get to throw it away. This is a lifetime commitment. Christianity is a lifetime commitment on this side. It's a lifetime. Amen. I'm tired of all this crazy worldly talk. Honey, I had to put my religion on the shelf just now. Because I had to tell her something. Amen. Amen. While you're putting your religion on the shelf, death could come. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jessa moved from hero, uh, from zero to hero. Now the focal passage come from judges. Amen. The focal passage that we just discussed and talked about come from Judges chapter 11. But this is something you don't hear about. Amen. But Jessa is mentioned again in Hebrews 11. Somebody say amen. In the faith hall of fame. In the faith hall of fame. This one man right here that everybody talked about, he was a fool to make that vow. Amen. He was just showing us Jesus. Jesus gave his only begotten son, and this man gave his only daughter. He was just showing us who Jesus was. That's all he was doing. But because he kept his vow to the Lord, he was in the hall of faith. Amen. And, and let me tell you what it says. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 32. Amen. In verse 32, he obtained the promises. Amen. What are the promises of God? All the promises in him are yea, and in him is what? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He obtained all of the promises of God. Amen. A amen. Amen. Verse 34, out of weakness and was made strong. Out of his weakness, he was made strong, rejected, and then elected from zero to hero. Amen. From inferior to superior. Amen. Amen. This man right here. Amen. And look, they got some of the judges named up there. They got Samson. Amen. They got Barak. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. They got Gideon. They got Samson. They, that man is named with all of these people. They even got David named with him. I'm talking about King David. They even got Samuel named with this man. All of them are together in the hall of faith. In Hebrews. Start with that, amen, 32nd verse. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Because people don't talk about this. It's hidden. The hidden judges. Amen. We know about the man that sacrificed his daughter and all of that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When God opens a door, no man can close it. Amen. Amen. His name means God open. Just as Jephthah vowed to sacrifice his daughter to win the victory over Israel's enemies, God vowed and sacrificed his only begotten son for the sins of the entire world. Amen. And we get to worship him daily. Not just four times a year, but we get to worship him daily. How many of you take opportunity to worship him daily? Amen. Amen. How many of you, amen, just don't pick up your Bibles, amen, amen, when Slim and Husky is on? How many of you just don't pick up your Bible, amen, when you go to Sunday school? How many of you just don't pick up your Bible when you come to church? How many of you got a family Bible that's got dust all over it? Amen. You get to worship him daily. Amen. Daily we get to seek, amen, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. He vowed and sacrificed his daughter. Amen. Amen. He kept his vow. Amen. 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 God said, now it's time for us to hold fast to our godly integrity and keep our vows. A vow is a promise you made with your mouth. 
I want you, I'm going to give you a homework assignment. Read Numbers chapter 30. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Numbers chapter 30. Let's see. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. That fourth book in the Old Testament. Amen. 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 Praise God. When you made a vow unto the Lord, you made it with your mouth. The only somebody could declare that it was void was the father or the husband of the house in the Old Testament. Amen. I see you, boy. That's tight. I like it. Look at y'all. Go. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Otherwise, it's binding and cannot be broken. Amen. A promise to the Lord. Amen. Cannot be broken. Amen. Careful who you make a vow, vow to. Every time you break that vow, it lessens your integrity. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I praise God. Amen. For this ninth judge of Israel. Amen. The ninth judge of Israel. An awesome man of God in the hall of faith. Amen. You know, there's so many people named in the hall of faith. Sometimes if we're not careful, we'll miss them. Amen. You don't want to miss some of these names that we're talking about. You want to know who these people are in the Bible. Amen. You need to know that word of God. Everything that you see in the Old Testament is concealed. But guess what? God revealed it in the New Testament. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Old Testament's God word concealed. New Testament is his word revealed. Amen. Everything that you see. Amen. Somebody say praise God for the word. That's all I got this morning. Amen. Amen. Move from zero to hero. Amen. Amen. And learn to forgive, please. Amen. Learn to forgive. Amen. You're here today. You never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. We extend to you the opportunity of a lifetime to come to Jesus while you still have time. Amen. Amen. Come to Jesus today. Amen. You need Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. I don't know if I'm supposed to showcase this or not, uh, but Deacon Arebo made this for me. Amen. Amen. Changing hearts, shaping lives. See this lady right here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you're tired of that hot mask, get yourself a shield. Right, Scam? I don't like you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. You're here today. Amen. 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 Just quiet down the music. Just a hair. Amen. Praise God. You know I'm country when I said just a hair. Amen. If you're a new member, amen, and you have not attended the new members classes, please do not forget, amen, they start at 9 o'clock, amen, every Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Love you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, amen, on Saturdays, am I right, uh, uh, elders, amen, 9 o'clock, the men ministry, amen. 
every other Saturday. Amen. The men ministry. Amen. If they send you a text, amen, please come and be a part of. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Men of Jerusalem, we want to take this city by storm. And we declare peace in this city. Somebody say amen. Only thing God needs is a few good men. Amen. Amen. He needs just a few. Amen. With God, less is more. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's stand. Let's go home. Amen. We praise God. Amen for you. Thank God for our visitors. Guys, make sure you greet our visitors. Amen. I'm going to need some of you all to head out and greet our visitors. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We all know each other, so y'all greet the visitors. Amen. Praise God. Thank you once again for coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray over our children as they get ready. Amen. In the next few months and the next month or so. Amen. To head to college. Amen. We pray for each one of you. And my advice to you has not changed. Don't forget about God. You let them know who you serve. Amen. Amen. And if they serve in anybody else, they wrong. Somebody say amen. You got to make up in your mind. Choose you this day who you going to serve. Don't let nobody change your mind. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Would you bow your head for the closing prayer? Amen. Gracious God, how we thank you today. God, we thank you for your word, God. We ask that you would open our hearts and our minds to receive your word. A spirit of forgiveness. Amen. A spirit of reconciliation. And God, amen, a spirit, amen, of knowing that you're getting ready to open some things for us. And God, we receive it right now in Jesus' name. As we leave this place, but never from your presence, God, do a Psalm 23. Send your angels, surely, goodness and mercy to watch over us. In Jesus' great big name we pray. Amen, and depart and serve.